How are y'all and welcome back to another video. I am back from my holidays so that means back to look be a landlord and I'm very excited to see what the new update is. I haven't seen any like information on the update but uh, so I've just opened the page and the look be a landlord and of course I noticed this new stats button so that sounds interesting. Let's go into the update and let's see what the new changes are. So content patch number 11 stats menu the game has been patched add new features right new content modified 10 existing symbols modified five existing items added one new email tip so it doesn't seem like a massive update just the stats menu i would say is probably the biggest bit and then a few like balance changes okay new features added a stats menu unlocked after beating apartment floor one which keeps track of players games won games played, win streaks and more. There are also six joke stats which can be discovered over time so let's keep an eye on the menu. Added a menu speed setting for increasing or decreasing how quickly the menus animate. So this is just um, changing this to make it separate from the animation speed setting, fair enough. Added a custom message for the game over screen where a player has less than one kind. Okay that'd be interesting. Add a combined multiple duplicate sound effects reducing the game's file size by roughly 10%. Right, so there's a bit of quality of life. The stats seem to be the big change. News. Okay, so as I mentioned a few days ago, a bit of burnout, depression lately, and been trying to deal with it. As a result, this content patch is a bit lighter on new content and features than I'd like to be. Okay, well, hopefully he's feeling better now. He is saying he is feeling better. So yeah, I'd say he's probably been working full time on this and he has added a lot. So yeah, have to remember at the end of the day, it is going to be fun. So hopefully he's feeling better soon and it looks like he is back to it. So that's all right. No, um, no real need for any big changes. So just, yeah, get back to it when you can. Um, so all four of the stats have been tracked since content patch nine, but all the other stats will only be started being tracked as of this content patch. All right, so the numbers might be a bit funny. I wonder, will um, can you clear it? I'd like to clear it to start from now, but I don't know if that's possible. So this is the game balance. Frying pan now makes eggs destroy themselves when adjacent to golden eggs and omelets, in addition to eggs, milk, and cheese. Just making that slightly better. Golden carrots essence description now specifies as effect only applies when it's destroyed. So it doesn't change the way it works. It just makes it a bit clearer. That's fair enough. Instant Ramen's essence description now specifies that allows the player to choose which items are added when the effect triggers. Again, it doesn't change, it just makes it clearer. Lucky Carrot's essence, again, just making it clearer. And Void Portal essence, again, just making it clearer. So just the changes to some of the descriptions to make them a bit clearer, but hasn't actually changed the way they work. Emerald now has the effect gives one kind more if there are at least two emeralds. So emeralds will now be worth four if there's two emeralds. That's pretty good. Golden egg now gives four instead of three. That might possibly make goose worth taking if you get it really early on. Definitely makes it better. Goldfish now has the effect de destroys adjacent bubbles. Gives 15 kinds for each bubble destroyed. That's pretty decent. Might be worth taking a goldfish now early on just to take bubbles if you're not going to take toddler. Monkey now gives six times the value of symbols destroyed instead of five times the value. Fair enough. Just making it slightly better. Omelette has the effect gives two kinds more if adjacent to cheese, milk, egg, golden egg, or omelette. This effect only applies once per spin. So omelette is worth three, I believe. So it'll be worth five if it's next to any of these. But if it's next to two, it'll still only be worth five. Fair enough. Peach now has the effect adds one seed when destroyed. Okay. Ruby gives one kind more when there are at least two rubies. So just making emeralds and rubies slightly better. Slot now gives four kinds every two spins instead of three kinds every two spins. That's quite good. That means if you have checkered flag, slots are definitely worth taking. Strawberry now has the effect gives one kind more if there are at least two strawberries. So just like emerald and ruby, making them slightly better. Wine has the effect permanently gives one kind more after giving kinds eight times. So wine will end up being worth a three kind symbol. All right, that's pretty decent. And then a bit of explanation as to why the changes were made. Frying pan was just because it was less powerful. Emerald and ruby strawberry, just to make them a bit more viable. Golden egg, just to make it a bit better. Goldfish, just, yeah, most of them just, just to make it a bit better. I'll 
leave this here for a second for anyone that wants to read the reasoning behind it. Okay, slot as it was less good for an, uh, for an uncommon with regard to synergies. Wine, mostly for flavor reasons, but also to help the, help players add wine before finding the dwarf. Fair enough. And then there are some bug fixes. I'll just put them there in case you want to read them. All right, so just not massive changes, but interesting nonetheless. Let's jump in. Some have gotten better. Let's take a look at their stats played. 102 games, so this is definitely, yeah, from content patch 9. Games won 53, so 50% 50 win rate. That's not too bad. Uh, what's this? Highest win streak, 5. Ah, you can get win streaks for each. As you can see, I'm on a current win streak because I've played each of these once and then moved on to the next one. Okay. Current win streak, 1. I must have played 12 again recently. Played 50 floor 15 12 floor 9 10 floor 1 and then mostly one played a load of floor 12 for some reason 5 3 1 okay uh, interesting enough I can't wait to see what the hidden stats are but for now let's jump into it and I don't think any of these have changed so we could I'd say jump in at floor 1 it is a new update I generally play updates at floor 1 so We'll be able to try out any new symbols we see. I'll take a bubble. We'll see if we can get a fish and try and get that payout. I'll take a mouse. Let's just check how the gameplay. Let's put this all down to two times. Menu speed. Yeah, we'll put that down at two. Two X sounds good to me. Let's go. I know it said it was on three times, but I feel like putting it down to two, it's actually now faster. I don't want anything here. Okay, I'll take a lockbox. And we made the 25 rent payment with 6 left over. I, can I survive an essence capsule? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can. I'll take an essence capsule. I'll take small symbol bomb as well. I'll take another lockbox and a milk, I think. Okay, I'll take a crab. And another bubble. Two spins, I'll take a present. Are we going to make the next rent payment actually? Item capsule. And we actually didn't make, so the essence capsule killed us. Not great, this is not going to uh, be good for my win streak. Right, um, it's been a few days off and I could definitely tell, I should have taken a goose there. Uh, you could definitely tell I was playing a little bit sloppy. So let's try and focus on this run a little bit more. Let's take a crab. And who made the 25 rent payment with 21 left over. I will take a wine. It ends up being worth 3, which isn't bad. And I'll take a lucky catcher. Uh, I could take a dwarf for the wine, or I'll add a goose to see if we can get some golden eggs. Um, I guess I'll try a toddler. I was thinking cultist there as well, but that's a bit boring. So let's take a key. Definitely doing better in this game. We made the 50 rent payment with 29 left over. I'll take an item capsule. Um, lock pick is also really good. Okay, Scion Pepper, it's not fantastic. Don't particularly want anything here. Let's skip. Let's take a candy for the toddler. I don't want a second toddler. We could take a slot, it's slightly better. And let's pick up a bubble. I think Vide Creature may have been better there. I will I guess I'll take a Cultist now that it's offered now. I don't want a second Goose. We did make the 100 rent payment with 30 left over. 150 due in 6 spins. I'll take a Wealthy Capsule. And Frying Pan is interesting. Yeah, I think we might be able to make an Omelette build work. Let's try taking Frying Pan. I'll take a Lucky Capsule. So when it's next to Cheese, Eggs milk omelet or golden egg all right so once we get the first one that should be easy enough i will take or reroll for a better rare geologist is definitely a better rare that's great i'll take a shiny pebble 
and we should definitely make the next rent payment. I'll take an anchor just to be sure. Here I will take, I don't really want a mouse because I would like some cheese. I'll take a five-sided dice. And we made the 150 rent paint with nine left over. So we're not as great as we could be. Lucky dice would give me a, a load of money, a big buffer of money. So I'll take it. Uh, happy hour should be really good with the wine. I'll take a white creature, I guess. I do have a toddler. Yes. So while time machine is really good, I'll take Jack O'Lantern. 32. I'll take another shiny pebble. I'll take an ore for the geologist. 40 on that spin. Take another lucky capsule. And I'll take another geologist, yeah. Okay, I could take a goldfish. It does pop bubbles. It's actually better, well, it's with the jack-o'-lantern, it's not quite better than a toddler, but it's close. I'll take a wine for the, uh, I mean a dwarf for the wine. And we made the 225 rent payment, only 19 left over. So we're not doing fantastic. I'll take a golem and I will take comfy pillow, I guess. Let's, uh, we'll keep our removals for a bit later. Let's take a rabbit fluff, I guess. 39, I'll take a big ore. Let's remove the key. Okay, let's use a reroll for something better. I'll take another crab. And let's get rid of the flower, I guess. 78 on that spin, that's great. Let's use another reroll. Tedium capsule is pretty good. Okay, I'll take an ore. Let's remove this cherry and cultist. Okay, 57. I'll take another crab. 300. Do we want to skip it? I'm not super confident, so I think I'd rather have the spin this time. We'll probably skip the next one. We made the 300 rent payment with 61 left over. Telescope is could be really strong with the geologists. Let's take fertilizer could be really good. Let's take a ah a comedian works with toddlers. Let's take a comedian. Let's take kind on a string. That'll be two removals for us. That's not too bad. Now we want Gollum would be, actually Pearl would have been better. Let's take another Gollum. Unfortunately, that's the end of our telescope. We did make 60 on that spin. That's not too bad. Once these Gollums break, we should have no problem. I'll take a beer for the dwarf. And let's skip this. We've already made rent, so we're doing pretty good. All right, I'll take another lucky capsule. We don't seem to have gotten our omelet build off, but that's not too bad. Amherst, we don't have any way of buffing an Amherst, so I'll just take a bar of soap. I will skip this rent payment, make the 350 rent payment with 166 left over. Take a lucky capsule and I will take... Checkered flag would work with the slots, but I'll take lucky carrot. Not a big fan of um, I'll can think that could probably do with a buff. Would I got a better rare, I wonder? Do I have checkered flag? I don't. Let's see for a better rare. Mine is great. Okay, let's take another lucky capsule. 42 from the toddler. So the toddler ate a bubble and that was then buffed by the comedian. That's pretty good. We've managed to get a diamond from somewhere. That's not too bad. Let's remove... What's our worst items at the moment? Let's remove the goose and let's remove the anchor. So no golden egg from the goose, but that's okay. 93, I'll take another lucky capsule. We now have three geologists. I'll take a reroll and I'll take a removal capsule, I think. Robin Hood would also have been a decent pick, but it doesn't really matter. 
And at this stage, we've pretty much already won. We made the 425 rent payment with 372 left over. Um, out of these essences, I don't particularly want any of these essences. Let's take watering can essence, I guess. Destroys itself if comedian is destroyed. I'd act, I think I'd rather just keep the comedian though. Although this would make toddler worth five, which isn't too bad. I'll keep it as an option, I guess. Another golem is great. Anthropology degree is great. I think this might make the toddler worth three, yes? 12, four. I think the toddler is now worth four. I'll take a farmer just in case I pick up a pair. Yeah, toddler is worth four. I will take a white creature, I guess. I'll take another removal capsule. Do um, geologists not destroy white stones? They don't. Okay, fair enough. I'll take a white creature. And I don't want a target. I don't want a thief either. Let's take another diamond, I guess, if you're just going to give them to us. Let's remove the slot. Let's remove... At this stage, probably the... Well, no, dwarfs are quite good. Well, no, let's remove the dwarf. I still take a wine, actually, just by itself, but don't need the dwarf. 129. Take a wealthy capsule. 121. I guess avoid creature. Let's skip this one. We made the 575 rent paint with 666 left over. I hope that's not a worrisome omen. Let's, uh, we could take another chef just in case we get a pair, but that's very speculative. I will do it though. Undertaker, I like fish tank instead. Undertaker is definitely a risky enough item. Although, now that it can be switched off, I guess there's no real downside. Let's take another geologist, sure. Okay, I'll take an item capsule, I guess. Don't need to remove anything. I'll probably start removing these crabs next. Maxwell the bear is okay. Take a hustling capsule. Let's re-roll. I'll take a big ore for the geologist. Let's get rid of two of these crabs. Okay, I could take a pinata for the toddler. Sure, why not? Great hit there. Getting hit by 192 from that toddler. Eating the pinata and four candies and then getting hit by a comedian. Pretty decent. 48 from the toddler there. Yeah, definitely the toddler and the comedian is a decent pickup. We made the 625 rent payment with 1,263 left over. I do have 18 spins left, so I'll take the dishwasher. Do we have nine faces? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have the comedian counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, we just need one more face. Let's take it. Let's take another geologist. Let's take capsule machine. That's great. And they're now all worth one point, which for these 45 from this, yeah, for these geologists is a bananas amount. Let's see, uh, wine should now be worth quite a bit. Three. Uh, rabbit is worth quite a lot. Let's take the rabbit. Let's remove the other crab. Where's the toddler? Toddler is giving us 42 there for eating two things. Let's take a bar of soap. Okay, so toddler is worth six without being buffed by anything, which isn't too bad. 173. As always, when we do the well, as always, I did lose the first game. As usual, when we do the floor one run after a update, it's extremely overpowered. Um, there's a, I suppose there's a few things. We will do the 675 rent paint with 2,328 left over. We could take a moon for the rabbit. We could take, a, I think a silver arrow would probably be better though. And swapping device is, yeah, really good. Probably worth taking. I don't think I have anything I need to swap though, so I'll probably switch it off for now. Let's remove probably this rabbit fluff and let's remove... 
I would just five sided dice that doesn't have any synergies and I'll also just get rid of that em emerald. I want to fill up space for our golem here. And we'll skip this. And uh, I skip this as well. Let's put back on the swapping device for this next spin. I want to put our biggest here. So he gets the most amount of eats. It's pretty good. I'll take an item capsule. Let's see where is our ore. How many geologists can we get with this ore? I think we can get. You have to kind of choose which one. I'll put it here. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's skip this. Let's put you here. Get three geologists to eat it. Not too bad. And five spins. Yeah, we definitely won this one. So, thoughts on the new update? Yeah, no. The stats is interesting. There's uh, some interesting things. I would like if you could clear your stats. I'm sure that'll be implemented at some stage. But, yeah, I'd like that. That'd be great. Um, other than that, not big changes. A few items got buffed to make them slightly better, but not massive changes. Obviously, the stats is probably the big thing he's been working on, which is fair enough. Um, he did say that there'll be a much bigger one in the next content update, so that'll be interesting. And that's only in, I believe, like 15 days or something. But we did win this one. This time your landlord was eaten by bears. We had 3,547. Let's go back to main menu. Yeah, 17 days for the new update, so that's not too bad. And current win streak of one on the apartment floor. So that's pretty it's pretty funny. I'll definitely have to do some win streak stuff. So highest win streak is four on apartment 15. So we might see if we can get that up. Maybe I might do some streams or something. That could be something interesting to see on streams, how big of a win streak we can get. Maybe on floor one, because that'd be interesting. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, the update, pretty good. Just building on what's already good. Not much massive changes. Stats could definitely be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what the hidden stats are. I hope you guys are enjoying the update and the videos. If you are, as always, give them a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, guys, take care of yourselves and cheers for now.